I, I want to reassure you that accent is not an issue. So I can talk in like the Liverpool accents and like the north of England, and you should be able to still understand me, all right? You can, yeah? yeah? Yes. You guys all have completely different rhythms and movements because of your mother tongues. This is not the issue. So, it's the equivalent of trying to swim in a plain tennis position. So, so your mother tongue now is uh, playing tennis, so you're ready to play tennis, okay? And I'm asking you to swim, and you go, okay. It's just really hard, so you have to allow yourself to find a new shape in your mouth. Literally, a new shape, a new different way of holding all this stuff so that you can find a new language. Okay, a little word about vowels. They are amazing. Vowels are amazing. They communicate so much of you, basically. They make you a good communicator. They hold your intention. So the stress syllable, yeah? You can't stress a consonant, you're in a stress vowel. Disastrous. You see what I mean? It kind of like, it show, it, it's where you put your emphasis. Your emphasis lives in your vowels. So it's how I know, it's, how I know how much you care about something. That's right. Okay. So, um, what's useful actually uh, is to mark when you do it, when you're practicing, draw your arc so that you don't actually come down until you get to your pause. It's really useful to physicalize stuff because it takes it into your body. Speaking is a physical experience. So the more you can create a new physical rhythm, movement in your body, the easier that will be to put into your speech. Okay, so we're going to start with somebody who's got loads of pauses, and uh, she's going to take, show us the way. <laughs> Peter adores the sculpture in his local park of our office on its way to the moon, which have been erected to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Space Travel. Okay, <laughs> you can feel it, can't you? There's too many pauses. So she put in six in one sentence. That's quite a lot, that's quite a lot for one sentence. You can do it, but actually it feels a bit like you're kind of going like that. It feels a bit like you're galloping, yeah? So um, choose which ones to take out and we'll hear you again in a minute. I want to hear your, your uh, redu reduced pauses. <laughs> Peter had ordered sculpture in his local park of a rocket on its way to the moon, which had been erected to commemorate the 50th anniversary of space travel. Yeah, cool. Four ideas. A little bit easier than six ideas. Cool. Was it easier to speak? Yeah, better. Good. Yeah, it, was more, it, sounded, it sounded more flowing. So it's finding the right balance between um, enough pauses for yourself, but not so many that you're galloping. Pauses are your friends, okay? Use them. <laughs> Seriously, you're working in a second language, so use a pause. If a pause is in the right place, you can kind of pause for as long as you want. Enjoy delivering your language. Like, you don't have to be afraid about it. I'm always so impressed when someone is just speaking to me in a language that's not their mother tongue. Even if I have to work a little bit, because they're learning in another language, it, I'm just grateful. I don't speak Portuguese, or German, or Japanese, you know. What you're doing is amazing. So uh, I wish you good luck with that. <laughs> Thank you. If you did want to take some more classes with me, what I would do is go into more detail on, I'd kind of assess your consonants and vowels and which sound individually you would need work on. Work on those particularly. Also look at ways to use intonation, how to really make use of your stress syllable, and kind of go into more detail in some of the concepts I brought you today. Um, so that you then go away being great communicators with accents. Uh -huh. You know? Great. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.